Hi, everyone. I'm Krista Seiden, analytics advocate at Google. Hello, my name is Timo Arden. I'm the co-founder and managing director of Trekin. Trekin is one of our Google marketing platform sales partners, and Timo has joined us today to talk about a really unique case study. Um, but first, Timo, can you tell us a little more about Trekin? Sure. We started Trekin 10 years ago, and uh, we have a few offices in uh, Europe. So we started with our headquarters in Hamburg, and then we opened up a few offices so that we have about seven offices right now across Europe. Uh, we are one of the largest Google marketing platform partners uh, in the sales area. So we do a lot of reselling regarding analytics, uh, the former double click products, uh, and like all the, the products out of the Google marketing platform. In total, we are approximately about 70 people uh, across those offices. And we are super happy to work so closely with Google. Yeah. So Timo has joined us uh, for a quick tip series as part of our Partner Insights series. And we're going to talk about optimized remarketing through deep data analysis. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Timo and let's dive right in. All right. So um, we actually worked with an airline client for a longer time and we implemented Analytics 360 on the websites and apps. And then finally, we came up with a question. Uh, how long is a user hot for remarketing after having searched for a flight but did not book that flight? So that was actually the initial question we came up with. And because we didn't know it, and nobody actually knew how long it took. So what do you, what do you actually think? How how I'm, long do you think a user would be hot? I, I would think it would probably be for several hours, days, or something. If you're trying to book a flight going somewhere, it's probably something you're thinking about for a while. Yeah. Um, I think this question in general is very interesting, though, because I feel like this is something a lot of different businesses would want to know for all sorts of remarketing uses. Yeah, right. So what we actually did after we implemented GA360 on all the websites and apps, we went to BigQuery to analyze the raw data. And what we came up with is um, actually a very interesting information about how long it actually took for, for them to, to uh, actually book that, that flight or like after they have not booked that flight. So we analyzed the user behavior in Big, BigQuery, what flight they were searching for, what, what routes they were looking for but did not book it. And in addition to that, we uh, also wanted to increase the number of booked seats. So for those users who have already booked a flight but have not booked a seat with it, we wanted to increase that number and looked at that as well. So what we came up with was very surprising as well as for us as for the client that it took less than an hour. So after an hour, it's very, very unlikely that users are actually booking that flight they have searched for. I, so, that is shocking to me. I would have thought it would be much longer. Yeah. So, so to answer that question, is um, we basically had just one hour or even less than one hour for remarketing because that's the time the user is hot enough to book that flight. And after that, as you can see in this chart, after that, it decreases almost to zero the likelihood. So they're never going to book that flight again. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had one hour for, for, for in-depth re uh, remarketing. So what we did then is we created various segments in Google Analytics 360, segments based on the location of the users which are close to the airports, uh, in-market segments, user behavior, information we took into account into those segments. And with that, we created various segments for specific routes mm -hmm. the users have searched for. And what we then did is we created various dynamic ads. We did that with Studio and we created those ads for all the various standard formats and we had to make them very dynamic because even within an hour, the price for a specific route of an, of an airline flight uh, is changing every five to 15 minutes. So we had to, 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 to visualize that uh, very dynamic prices into these, uh, these ads we, uh, we created. Um, so we did all that with Studio, we did that with Google Sheets where we dynamically in, uh, implemented um, and integrated that feed information for the pricing and for the different routes. And we set up with the Google Tag Manager 360, we set up all the floodlight tags of the campaign manager um, to get all that information into those tools. Mm -hmm. So we use all that information to deliver the ads we've created in Studio, deliver those ads via campaign manager and display and video three, uh, 360 to the clients. So then those users clicked on these ads and then we sent all these users to optimized landing pages. 
And what we did is we used all the segments we have already created in Analytics 360 to mm -hmm. deliver those ads for these audiences. We, we actually pushed these audiences into Optimize 360 and within Optimize 360, we created individual landing pages for all these different audiences. So within an hour, you analyzed the audiences, segmented them, targeted them with specific ads, and then landed them on a unique landing page for the route that they were interested in. Exactly. That's exactly. amazing. And this is basically a chart to, to sum it up. So the users actually, they search for a specific flight wherever they wanted to go for a specific date. Then we used Google Tag Manager uh, 360, Analytics 360, BigQuery to do the initial analysis based on the raw data. And then we used Campaign Manager, Studio and Display and Video Ads 360 to deliver the ads to the different audiences. Uh, and, and with all these indiv individual dynamic ads, we then send the users to, to audience-based landing pages, mm -hmm. which actually fit the different audiences. And then they came back to the, uh, um, at the website where everything was already pre-filled so that they can finish their task and book the flight. That's amazing. So what were some of the results? The main results. It was a significant increase in conversions and seat bookings. So our initial thought of using that, that time, this one hour to increase conversion rates and seat bookings was actually true and we saved lots of money because they spent uh, lots of money within that hour and they cut the budget for after that hour because it was completely useless. Right, so instead of remarketing for days, hours, weeks even, they could just keep it to that one hour and really optimize all of Absolutely. that. Absolutely. That's amazing. Timo, thank you so much for sharing this case study with us. I think this is a really great way to show how you can bring all of these different tools together to do deep analysis, segment your users, remarket to them in the right way in with the ads and the timing that's actually going to matter for your business and land them on really optimized pages that are going to drive home that sale. All of this done with the Google Marketing Platform.